we're going to be going over Olson Consulting's DocuSign integration in Vista. So we're going to start by opening up Vista and going into PM subcontracts. I do want to clarify, though, that we can do this integration anywhere in Vista. It does not need to be in an area that has create and send functionality. We did do this for a client in the HR module. So to the right here in the italicized writing is the actual customization. So let's start walking through the steps. First, we're going to select a template. We'll do subcontract test. You can create as many templates as you want, um, customize to different companies, just completely different documents with different information, whatever you like. So let's press save and edit the template. So right here, we can change any of the wording we want. We can add, remove anything. Um, let's add in here test one, two, oops, one, two, three, four, um, just to show you how this works and where this will show up later on. So let's save and exit out of there. As we refresh, we'll see the edited template name there. The next step here is document visibility. So what this means is, do you want to choose different attachments for different recipients? So we're gonna press yes for the purpose of this demo. And right here, I am adding in recipients. Um, we do not need to enter a recipient into each field. So for this demo, we're just gonna do two of them. We'll press save next and choose attachments for each of them. So right here, it shows you the type of file formats that you can use. And then it tells you to check the attachments you want to hide. So right here, attachment test one subcontractor will not receive that one. And the internal one will not receive attachment two. If we added in emails, we would also have um, more fields here. So perfect. Let's press refresh. We can see the attachments are added. And now let's preview the template. So this is one last preview, seeing all the information actually mail merged into the template. We'll be able to see all of the attachments in it as well, since we're just reviewing one document. So we see our test one, two, three, four at the top that we added in. If we scroll to the bottom here, we'll see our attachments as well. So make sure that you're happy with what's getting sent. Make sure all the information is populating correctly into these different fields. And then when you're happy, you can close out of here, start the DocuSign workflow. So we can see it started here. Once signs are completed, the signed document will be visible in here. So press OK and let's open up my email here. So we can see right here that we've received one of the documents already. We can customize this email completely. We can see we did it for Olson Consulting. So right here, we can start the process of reviewing and signing the document. We can see test one, two, three, four at the top there because we added that in. And uh, if we go to the bottom, this first one has um, just the single attachment in it. So we can do our signings quickly here. Let's do two, one. Put an initial in there and let's press finish. So what this will do now is send the half signed document now to the next recipient. So let's close that down there. And there we go. So we can see this one's the internal one. Let's review the document again. And agree to use this. Again, we can see that test one, two, three, four we can now see that we have attachment number one here. There we go. Finish this one off. There we go. And we'll press no thanks and close out of here. So we're back into Vista now, and what we're going to do, I'm going to refresh the page. We can see as of right now, we have um, the two attachments and the unsigned copy. So let's sync DocuSign now. So the syncing process, what it's actually going to do is load the now signed document into Vista. When we press that button, it will do that for all the subcontracts in the system. You do not need to individually do that for each project. So it says syncing completed successfully. Let's refresh again and see our attachments here. So now we can see our signed attachment in here. So let's view this to make sure it's as expected. Again, we can see that customized document we have in there. 
and then we'll have to go to the other pages to see the actual attachment. Oh, there's my signatures there. So all the different signatures, if we would have had a manager included on the email, there also would have been a signature there. Another benefit to using a program like DocuSign is they collect data on all the documents that you're sending out. We're able to take that data and put it into a program like Power BI to create insights onto the overall scope of what's going up on between subcontracts and different projects. So here's an example of the dashboard we've created. So we can customize it here. We can create different widgets based on whatever information you want to see, but we can see that we have the date, company filters, projects, subcontract number, um, we have some oversight into the total signed, unsigned, and partially signed. So this is great because um, you then can figure out who do you need to follow up with. Um, if they're partially signed, that means you have two signers. One of them has signed, one of them has not. Some insights into original subcontracts amounts, um, the current subcontract amounts as well. And then down here, we can see an even greater overview. So by project, subcontract, and then we can see the file names in here as well, and then the status of them. So there is a second page to our um, Power BI solution here. And on the second page, you can go in and look at the file name up here and the actual agreement. So you can see the details of the subcontract agreement. Um, you can see the signatures and any other details you may want to see. So once again, this is a great solution um, to have better document visibility, document tracking, um, to get a very good glance at what's going on in general with all of your subcontract agreements. And if they're signed or not, this can also reduce some risk to make sure we don't have subcontractors on the job who do not have a signed agreement in place yet. This also reduces some risk associated too with losing documents. There is the possibility that if you're emailing them back and forth, um, you do have a signed document in place, but we can now no longer locate it.